Hi Mavens, I'm Maura Malloy. I'm the Managing Editor at Indie Maven and today I am joined by Adair McDonald who is our resident columnist for a Mavens Mental Health. She's a therapist here in town in Indianapolis and she is going to teach us three simple breathing techniques that we can use anytime, anywhere. Thank you so much. We cannot wait to learn from you. Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, all right, so let's get right to it. So this first breath is going to be a basic, deep cleansing breath. Okay. All right. So with this one, um, instead of breathing up into your chest, which shows that- I you, do that. Well, a lot of us do, right? Mm -hmm. And that'll tell our body that we're actually needing to be on guard and, and might induce feelings of panic. But if we breathe down low into our belly, we're telling our body and our mind that we're safe, okay. all right? So you can go ahead and take one hand and put it on your belly. And if you like, you can even put a hand on your heart, which I really like to do. And this will make you feel more connected to your body. And now uh, you can go ahead and start to inhale through your nose. I'm feeling the gentle rise and fall of your belly. And as you exhale, just allow tension to melt out of you. And when you inhale, think about inhaling peace into your body. And as you exhale, allow your shoulders to soften, your jaw to soften, even your fingers and toes. I love, I'm always tell, told to soften my jaw, but mm -hmm. like no one's ever told me to do it with my toes and fingers and I didn't know I had tension there. Yeah, a lot yeah. of us are carrying tension all day that we don't even know we're carrying. And so just stopping once in a while and doing this will help release that. Okay. All right. All right, so what about the second? What's the second one called? All right, so the second one uh, is called a pranayama breath technique or just nostril breathing. All right. Okay. All right, so this one is really good for trauma responses, overwhelm, or preparing for anything that is stressful. Uh, so with this one, you're going to close up one side of your nose, you're gonna inhale and hold it, and then you're gonna blow out through the other nostril. All right, would you like to try that? Yeah. All right. One or two fingers? I usually do it. Do like, two? Yeah, but you boom, can boom, do boom. it really either way. It, okay. Any way you like. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, blow it all out first. so cool good so I did three rounds mm -hmm. how many do you recommend I usually recommend three okay now sometimes if you need a little bit more help relaxing uh, you may want to do six so you could do three with the first nostril and then you can reverse it and do the other I'm nostrils gonna do that way. all right yeah <laughs> when we're off camera all right good okay. that sounds so, great <laughs> what's the third technique so this one is called the four, seven, eight breathing technique. And this one may take a bit of practice before you really get the hang of it and you really notice the benefits, but it has a lasting benefit all throughout the day once you get it down. Uh, this one you're gonna wanna do at least twice a day. Uh, and uh, once you get that down, you can do it as needed as well. Okay, all right. so what do you, what's four, seven, and eight? So four is inhaling through your nose. Seven is holding it. And then eight is exhaling forcefully out of your mouth like you're blowing out candles. How about I show you once and then you can do it. Does that okay. sound good? When I do it, you're gonna do it with me. I love okay. it. Okay, <laughs> all right, good, let's do it. All right, so here I go, blowing out all my air and then I'm gonna go through my nose and then I'm gonna hold it and then I'm gonna blow out. You want to try it? Yeah. Okay, here we go together. I see you. <laughs> Wow. 
wow, I feel like that helps me like really take a deep breath yeah. once I blow out for eight counts. So you said you want us to do, it's recommended twice a day. Mm -hmm. How many rounds of four, seven, eight do we do? Four to start with. Once you get it down and it's feeling good for you, you can increase that uh, to five, six, seven, eight, but not recommended to go beyond eight. Okay. I feel like I could do this if, if I'm taking a bathroom break, yeah. if I'm just like stepping away um, from a social event, introverts unite. Mm -hmm. um, so I can do these anytime, anywhere. Mm -hmm. You can too. Um, let's just like practice, put them in our back pocket and thank you so much for teaching us. Thank you for having me.